It has been just a dream for several years now, but riverfront development is about to become reality. City leaders gave an update on the project today. News Channel 15, Sarah Schaefer joins us live from downtown with what was revealed. Sarah? The city often gives updates on the riverfront project, but today here at the old Wall Street Bridge, we learned when construction will start. Every time we have a press conference on this bridge, the weather's great. Excitement along the river continues. Every once in a while, the city of Fort Wayne really throws itself behind a particular initiative. And this one seems to be the one that's in the forefront right now. Mayor Tom Henry, along with Parks and Recreation head Al Mall and project leaders, announced what all is going into the construction of Phase 1 of Riverfront Fort Wayne. The Hagerman Group has been working hard behind the scenes. Today, they revealed there are 14 main contractors and a few others. The total cost, including design costs, reaches $20 million, which was predicted in the plan. That money is already accounted for through regional cities, legacy funds, and private donations. We are in great shape funding-wise, and uh, you know, four or five months ago, I probably couldn't have said that. Now starting the work is just around the corner. We're going to physically see activity starting with mobilization in June. As Al talked about, the heavy lifting probably starts in July. Phase one is the biggest of the three, including a promenade, park pavilion, event lawn, an elevated boardwalk, and more. Hagerman was aggressive to get the bid and has multiple reasons why. We're all residents of, uh, of this region and, and certainly not only the work that we do on a daily basis, but uh, us as citizens and, and members of families, we've been excited about it. This will take 18 months to complete, looking ahead to the finish date of next fall. The community has been pretty patient. They're ready to go. They want it done. And like the questions I get is, what are you going to do next? Of course, when all of this starts, be ready for some road closures. The bids go to City Council next week. Reporting live from the Old Wall Street Bridge, Sarah Schaefer, News Channel 15.